The city of Isle of Palms hosted its second of two workshops tonight to talk about short-term rental policy on the island. This comes after the council voted against a pause on issuing the business licenses, but promised citizens they would continue researching the topic and possibly take action. Melissa Rademacher talked to a council member and someone who lives on the island about the debate. Uh, there was a lot of confusion about how many actual licenses are out there, of the licenses that have been issued, how many of them are active. As of January 23rd, the city reports more than 1,700 short-term rental units. That's 38% of the properties on the island. Some people want to put a limit on that number so it doesn't take up more of the island. Hahn explains there are full-time residents who sometimes rent out their home for a 4% tax rate. Then there are people who own a second property on the island and don't live there. They rent out at a 6% tax rate. How it turns out, I don't know right now. Uh, I can't see any way where we would limit 4% rentals on the island. Uh, whether or not we limit 6% rentals, I think, is yet to be seen. For Tony Santiago, who lives on the island, he says there needs to be a limit on the number of licenses given out to protect the community quality of life. He also thinks the opinions of the full-time residents should be top of mind. We need short-term rental to a degree. We need commercial resort properties to a degree. They're here already. We're not going to get rid of them. The question is, in whose best interest? We're a municipality. The voting residents should be the number one priority. Meanwhile, Han says council is taking everything into consideration at the meetings. Well, I think they need to have a voice and for us to at least understand their position because they have property on the island. Han says he isn't sure what the next steps are, but found the meetings fruitful in terms of information. You can read a full breakdown of the number of short-term rentals and makeup across the island on our website. On Isle of Palms, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.